Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Borzy, and this is going to be my honest opinion, maybe a hot take on fingertip grip mice, because recently, as everyone knows, the mouse market just has not been moving very much. There are not any new releases, nothing coming up very soon, so I actually went out and got an M2K. I had been wanting to get one for a while, but they're just at a ridiculous price, which, spoiler alert, it's not worth paying $600 for this mouse, especially when Soundkunik is working on new products that are supposed to release, like, this quarter. Um, but yeah, that aside, I bought one from Not So Common Sense for a very reasonable price. I've just been testing it out a lot recently, and I wanted to make a video on fingertip grip mice. There's obviously the HSK Pro as well from G Wolves, which is wireless. It's smaller. It's around 30 grams, and it does have 4K point rate and side buttons. So I'm going to be talking about these specific fingertip grip mice and then other mice that are completely usable for fingertip grip and just how they stack up. But first things first, the sponsor of this video, the Manscaped Performance Package 4.0. Let's face it, with FPS and the gaming mouse scene being kind of dry recently, some of you guys might be forced to go outside and get some play, and you won't want to appear unkept or disheveled, which is where the Manscaped Performance Package 4.0 comes in. Of course, you get the Skin Safe Lawn Mower 4.0 Electric Trimmer. This is also mouse pad safe. It's good for all types of grip styles. It's really just um, the G Pro X Super Light of Razors. And it doesn't stop there, in fact, it's not even close. You also get the Weed Whacker 2.0, which is a ear and nose hair trimmer. That's an interesting product, to say the least. And here we have the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant and the Crop Reviver, which is ball toner. Really, more than your balls are asking for is being provided. And the best part of the Performance Package 4.0 is that if you head to checkout and use code BOARDSY, you can save a whopping $26. So go ahead, do that, your balls will thank you. But back to the mice, if you've watched my channel for a while, you'd know that I've actually reviewed both of these mice already. And back then, I honestly wrote them off because I was playing a lot of Fortnite and these mice either do not have side buttons or the side buttons are so small and unusable that it's just um, makes it makes the entire mouse practically unusable for Fortnite. But since I've just been playing more aim trainers and even the E-Date tack shooter, I've been able to appreciate these mice for what they are a bit more, but some of the issues I originally had are still the case. Uh, if you are someone who is completely bought into fingertip grip, want all of this room to adjust the mouse with your fingers, these are gonna be the best option because there's absolutely no palm presence they're extremely light and easy to move around and you will gain that benefit in the case of the HSK Pro this is just too small for me with like 21 by 11 hands it just does not work whatsoever the m mouse gets thinner towards the front and there's just not proper room for my ring finger it makes using the mouse completely more uncomfortable than something like the Viper Mini Signature, which is going to be bigger, it is going to be heavier, but it's just, it feels better for fingertip grip in my personal use case. It is gonna vary person to person, obviously, but I just feel like a standard fingertip grip mouse is going to be a lot safer, um, a lot less expensive, and if you do want something expensive, I would say the new Final Mice coming out, um, those are gonna be in the low 30s with a full-size mouse. I obviously have not tried it yet, um, but that that just seems like something that could be really intriguing for fingertip. And at this point, I have put a lot of time into fingertip grip mice, and I have just come to the conclusion that they are not for me. The M2K shape, I definitely enjoy it more than the HSK Pro. Um, as you can see, it is significantly larger. I'll put it up next to a standard size mouse, so you can see that it still has a good amount of width, but I just lose out on a lot of stability gained from a full-size mouse. Something I notice that I do is you can see that the right side of my hand kind of touches the mouse right here occasionally when I move it around while fingertip gripping and you just obviously cannot do that on a mouse that has no like back half. But yeah, if you do play a very raw type of fingertip grip and you maybe have problems with full-size mice that you feel like would be alleviated with something small and designed for fingertip, by all means try it out. Um, I just have never been able to really feel that the pros outweigh the cons, especially with the lack of side buttons. I mean, even for browsing, that makes the M2K annoying, and the small side buttons are very bad if you need to use them at the same time on the HSK Pro, but if you just have something pretty unimportant bound to it, I would say the implementation is good enough. Um, but yeah, ultimately, HSK Pro is just too tiny and uncomfortable. The M2K is extremely expensive nowadays. It is obviously wired, uh, but I would say the fingertip grip mouse experience 
I perform better with it than the HSK Pro. But at the end of the day, I would recommend a standard size mouse for fingertip. But the thing with fingertip grip is you can pull it off on basically any mouse, even something larger in the low 60 gram range, like the Death Adder V3 Pro, you can still very comfortably fingertip grip. Since there is obviously such a high hump and it's a large mouse, I do find myself resting the sides of my hand on the mouse. So it's not a pure fingertip grip, I guess, but you can still obviously grip the mouse without making any type of palm contact. So yeah, ultimately fingertip grip mice, even as somebody who is very comfortable using that grip style, they just are not it for me and I don't widely recommend them, but I do acknowledge that for some people, they probably are end game and it's cool that they exist. I would like to see some more of them pop up at potentially more reasonable prices. Uh, but since fingertip grip is so versatile, I would recommend most people to just get a good performing, high quality, small, low profile mouse. And then you can just pull off a fingertip grip on that. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be all for this video. Um, let me know if you'd like to see similar style videos for claw grip and palm grip, which would obviously just be a bit more of a roundup with shapes that are good for that grip style rather than focusing on extremely niche mice like fingertip grip mice. But yeah, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. That is going to be all. Peace.